All right, good morning, folks. It's great to be able to share with you a few thoughts based on actually yesterday's message. So when I say good morning, once again, it's Monday morning here at the gathering, and uh, I want to share with you some thoughts just based on the message yesterday. Yesterday, I was talking really about hope and, and what it is that we place our hope in and, and how we hope. Um, we've all had people promise us things. Uh, and, and, and I imagine we've all had people make promises to us that ah, they didn't keep. And so we, we know what it feels like to, to have somebody uh, tell us something or even promise us something and, and, and have the opportunity to look forward to it. We're looking forward to something that, that's going to happen or something that's going to be done or something we're going to be given or, or something that, that, that we're going to enjoy together and then it not come about. And, and I think back as a child, uh, and I shared this yesterday, you know, that Christmas was that, that season of anticipation. Man, we're looking forward to it. Oh, we can't wait on it. And we know that, that if we know about it a month ahead of time, or if we know about it two months ahead of time, and we're anticipating and we're looking forward to it, that's the whole concept of Advent. That's the whole concept of the expectation of the birth of Christ. But guess what? For us, we're celebrating that two years, 2,000 years in history, right? And, and, and yet, think about the promise of Christ, the promise of the Messiah. Uh, yesterday, I shared the very first thing was, was Abraham's hope. What was Abraham's hope? What was it that, that, that he was given to look forward to? I mean, we know all the way back into Genesis chapter 12, where, where God spoke to Abram and said, leave your land leave your family, leave your people, go to a land that I will show you. I'm going to give you a land. I'm going to give you a people. I'm going to give you a name. You'll be the father of a nation. Um, all of those promises from God. And, 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 and we live in a society where, where when somebody tells us something or promises us something, uh, we want it now. Uh, we want the fulfillment of that promise to happen almost right as the promise is given. If you're going to do this, then here. And, and, and so we're not really good at waiting. Uh, as a matter of fact, we can probably say we're all impatient. We're all looking for, for immediate uh, gratification of, of, of things that we want and things that we expect and things that we long for. And, and yet, uh, Abram, Abram at least had to wait 25 years before he ever saw the land that God promised him. Um, Isaac was born when Abram was, Abraham was 100. So, so Abram, Abraham waited 50 years for the fulfillment of that promise. Uh, do we have the capacity to wait on those promises? You know, when I look at Christmas and I look at, at that Christmas Eve birth of Christ, Jesus, baby Jesus in the manger, and I look at that and I anticipate and I look forward to and long for, I go, I, I can't wait for Christmas. And yet we're celebrating Christmas as a seasonal event, as a yearly thing. And yet when I think of the hope, the hope that we've been promised in Christ, that's something we get to celebrate every day. Uh, every morning I wake up, I have a hope in the birth of Jesus. I have a hope in the person and work of Jesus Christ. I have salvation, redemption, regeneration, transformation, refinement in the birth of Christ. Now, guess what? It means I'm still enduring every day. Every day. As we live, we endure. And so I think about two little passages, and I'm not going to read them to you. Uh, we may uh, put them into the video, but here you go. At the very end of the covenant statement that God made with Abraham, God said to Abraham, all the people of the earth would recognize, receive, be blessed through you, Abraham. That's what God said to Abraham. Um, that was a promise of God that wasn't fulfilled till hundreds of years later in the birth of Christ. So yes, now all the nations of the earth have the, 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 the capacity to be blessed by the birth of Christ. 
that was the promise of God in Genesis 12, fulfilled, let's say, in Luke chapter 2, where when the angels met the shepherds on the hillside and said, look, we're bringing you great news of joy, and you'll find it in a manger. You see, the hope. Think about the hope that you have in Christ. As you watch this video, as you share with one another, let's talk about hope. What is my greatest hope? My greatest hope, biblically speaking, is that one day I'm gonna stand face to face with Jesus. That's an incredible hope. I look forward to that hope. Guess what? I, I, I would be a little hesitant to, 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 to do that today. Because, because of my wife and my family and, and the gathering and all the things that I enjoy in this life. But that is a hope I have one day to stand face to face with Jesus. To be in the presence of the body of Christ around the throne of God for all eternity, celebrating, worshiping, just falling on my face. That's a hope. That's a promise of God's word. How about the here and now? What am I hoping for? Boy, I'm hoping for those days every day that I get to spend time with Angie and Eli. I'm hoping and looking forward to those days when I get to spend time with my mom and dad back up in Belton, South Carolina. With my sister Melanie, her husband Paul, her kids Katie and Pete, their families. See, those are special times on this earth where we get to interact with loved ones and friends. I love this gathering. I love it when we get together and people are smiling and laughing. And, and, and we're enjoying worship together. I love it with our staff here, with the pastors here, with the directors of ministry, with all the people who lead and serve the body of Christ, the kingdom of God in this place. These are very special, very precious times to me and I hope for them every day. Look forward to them every day. Enjoy them every day. We have hope. We have hope in Christ. Christmas is hope realized. And that's what we're talking about over these next few weeks. And I look forward to it as we continue to share about the hope that we have in Christmas. Barring everything else that's going on in the world around us, we have hope in Jesus. Take care. Have a blessed Christmas.